Hey y'all, in today's video I stopped by Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors just as they finished up this 1957 Chevrolet I think y'all are going to like. Let's get the camera turned around and check it out. He got the car in the, in the early 80s and he had it painted once in Tallahassee and the young man that did it didn't do it to his expectations. And then both boys were in college and I was in college so we just kind of put it on hold. And so when the boys got through with school, we both retired, then we started the process. And there was a local guy that lived fairly close. His name is Ken Chambus. Uh, he, is, uh, he does paint jobs for an, uh, a little paint store in Donisonville. But he does things on the side, and so he took the car. And we were expecting a three-year turnaround. However, it was more like 10 years we had COVID in, the, in all that mix. We had Michael, a horrendous hurricane, and all of those things delayed the process. But then he was so methodical about everything. He worked with Othell, which is the owner of the car, Opal we call him, and he ordered every part and coordinated it all with Ken. And then we, t we got it from Ken last July a year ago and then took it to Pro Auto Customs. Now, what was the name of the custom shop in Dothan, honey? American Muscle. American Muscle Car. And he's the one that put the windows in and got the wheels and tires and did all that. And then we had been coming to Pigeon Ford to Shades of the Past. And we met Steve Holcomb in the process. We saw in the top 25 at Shades of the Past, Steve had done five interiors that were first place. So we weren't sure about him, so we called him about five years out, came and met him and found out he's just our kind of guy, and we just trusted him to do a very good job. And when we saw it just a few minutes ago, we are delighted. We are not disappointed. It is absolutely a dream come true. And praise the Lord, he's in the whole mix of everything because he took us step by step by step. And it's just, uh, it's just hard to explain the emotions that are filling our hearts today, especially mine for my husband. I always want his every dream in his life to come true. How cool He's is been that? a great dad and a great father and a great husband. And today it gets rewarded. Oh, right that, here in the cul-de-sac in Knoxville, Tennessee, right? Oh, sweet. Huh? Sweet, yes. Got so me. what's the plan now? Just to go enjoy. Steve? Scotty? Boy, that's some happy customers there, eh? Well, I tell you what, she started, as soon as she said it, she started crying. I said, don't you start crying, you'll make me cry. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, we got to quit making people cry, Steve. <laughs> well, that's good. She cried on me, too. That's how, they, that's how her interview with me ended oh, was her crying. Lord. But, boy, it's good when you can do what you love to do and you can make people smile like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it made their day. They've been working on it for a while, and they're just tickled to death to get the final touch on it, get the interior finished up, and... You know, now take it back home to Florida, finish up little details, and enjoy the car. Right on. What'd y'all do to it? Well, full custom leather interior. We put a 3D accent door panels with the LED lights in it. Stuff she loved that. Thought she goes, looked like a brand new diamond sitting out there. On the, so yeah, put a lot of aluminum trim in it. Put a material type in. You know, you've seen the material in the headliner and a little yeah, bit of seat in the door material. panel. I like that. Yeah, they, they'd seen another car that we had done and had some of that in there, and she absolutely loved it. So. Instead of using the exact same thing, I found something to match the leather perfectly, and you know, and all it just went with a darker brown stitch, and it and a little bit of dark brown was in that material, uh, along with the same color that matched the leather, so it all worked out perfectly. Look, looked really nice. And <clears throat> yeah, I like what you did in the trunk and put the, that the insert material on the bottom of the trunk lid, and then just a little bit on that access mm -hmm. panel brought those together. Yeah, yeah, let's get in behind that access panel. There's a uh, battery where you can get to it and you know change it out real easy if you need to charge it up whatever you got to do there and then of course we made the full custom console with the slide door in it and he's got power vent windows power windows front and rear so he's it's got, got six switches yeah he has got cow. six switches in that and of course he's got his uh led light switch in there and a little battery charger for your phones or whatever you want to do there but just made it all flow from front to back and all the all the goodies, all the polished aluminum, and try to go a little extra mile. I'm going to do on all of them. Sure. I mean, if it needs it, we're, we're going to fix it and make make you happy. And you got to make them each one unique. Yeah. Each one's got to be special for that person. What's mm. the name of the color of leather, you know? 
It is a uh, taupe. Taupe. Yeah, it's a taupe leather and a taupe colored um, accent cloth. Yeah. Is, isn't that? So it yeah. turned out really neat. It's a. Uh, it don't really look too taupey taupey looking. Right. It's, you know, got a tan, but it's not just bright tan. You know? Right, right. It's got that little yeah. toned down tan, I guess what you call it. Taupe. As always, <laughs> I think y'all killed it. I think you built the perfect interior, perfect color, everything. I think it goes really nice. I think that I love the body color. And so up against that taupe, it oh, really yeah. pops. And in that sunshine, you could really see the metallics in that, in that paint really looks good. Right on. So I don't know if you maybe, you might have caught some of it out there. I'm yeah. not sure. But yeah, if you look at it, check that out. It looks, it's really pretty. Beautiful car. I think y'all killed it. Scotty, again, I appreciate it as always. Now, thank you, brother. So there you go from Steve Hulk on Pro Auto Custom Interiors, a very nice 1957 Chevrolet. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.